Today, we'll be looking at how to play Genos properly. First of all, you can do all of his normal moves in midair, some of them gaining special properties to them if done so. Starting off with Machine Gun Blows, prior to most people's belief, doing 3M1s into Machine Gun Blows is the best damage for it, and not doing it while they're ragdolled. Onto his second move, Ignition Burst. The damage from this will always go through an enemy's block, and you can redirect where you go with it while you're doing the move. On top of that, if you click the ability again early, it will stop early and do the damaging part of the move. Also, if you hit a ragdoll person with this, it's best to do front damage right afterwards to continue your combo. Also, you can hit the back end of the ignition burst for some extra damage. However, it'll launch the person far away. Arguably, this move is best done in the air if you're using it just by itself. Now onto his third move, Blitz Shot. If used in midair, you're able to redirect where it shoots. On top of that, simply by holding M1, you can charge the ability, eventually turning it into a missile that even goes through block. A lot of players will try to rush you by front dashing towards you while you're doing this, so just be warned of that. Now onto his fourth move, Jet Dive. This is best done after four M1s, but never do it straight after machine gun blows, since 90% of the time you'll never hit it if you do that. Also, some secret tech is that if you do it facing backwards and right as you reach the top you turn around, you basically double your distance with it. This can be used to catch people off guard at long distances. Onto his passives. First off, anytime he gets a finishing kill, it recharges his moves. This includes thunder kick and speed blitz drop kick from his ultimate moves. His second passive is if you use his ragdoll cancel while on the ground, it'll create an explosion around him, damaging players nearby you and allowing you to get them into an easy combo. Another tip with Genos is that his 4th M1 goes further than the rest, so you can side dash and hit people with it consistently. Now onto his ultimate. His ultimate startup has two separate parts. The first part basically being inescapable if you do it right next to someone, but the second part being near impossible to hit unless they're just really, really bad. His first ultimate move being Thunder Kick. This is best to use after ragdolling someone or right after speed blitz drop kick. However, you can always do it just randomly if you so desire to. Just be warned that only the end bit of it actually gets them into the move. His second move being speed blitz drop kick, basically being inreactable if you use it at close range. His third move being flame wave cannon. This move can be devastating if you miss it because of the person being able to get you into a free combo afterwards. On top of that, it's basically near impossible to hit at long range to the travel time of the beam. However, if you manage to ragdoll someone before using this or hit it up close against someone since you're able to freely aim it before it shoots, it can do a load of damage and can optionally be comboed into incinerate. Onto his final move, incinerate. This move will basically always do 30% damage if you hit the person. However, if you you're up close, it can do upwards of 90% damage. However, this is very situational. On top of that, if a player is that close to you, they'll try to dodge it. The best way to get them into the move is to predict whether or not they'll stay. Most of the time, they'll try to get behind you right as the move is going to finish. So if you think you're going to be good enough for that, the best thing you can do is just fake it at the last second and not follow them the entire time. Or optionally, you can just spin around rapidly and basically play a game of chance if you so desire to. For his combo, it starts off with 3M1s into machine gun blows, then 4M1s into ignition burst, front dash, 4M1s into jet dive, and then blitz shot to finish them off. If you had enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and hopefully you can become the annoying Genos player.